For these types of questions, you're going to have to color a fraction and write a corresponding decimal. So color the fraction. A fraction is just a way to represent an amount that's less than 1. And then we're going to write the corresponding, which just means matching, and a decimal. A decimal is, is also a way to represent an amount that's less than 1, but it does it by breaking one whole into 10 parts or 100 parts or 1,000 parts or any number of parts that are in powers of 10. It does this by breaking one whole into 10 parts or 100 parts or 1,000 parts and then counting those parts. So now if we look at these examples, it says color the fraction and write the corresponding decimal. So if we look right here, we have 3 tenths, 3 out of 10. Well, this is a little bit misleading because it really has 100 parts. So what you have to think about is what did it look like? What did the tenths look like? A tenth was actually one long column, and that is one tenth. So that would be one tenth. Well, if we want three tenths, we have to color another whole column so that that would be two tenths. And if we wanted a third column, color the whole thing, and that would be three tenths. So that's how you would color three tenths. And that's the first part of the directions. There is a corresponding decimal, and what that means, it's a matching decimal. If we wanted to write three tenths as a decimal, we have to use place value. And so three tenths, the tenths is always the first spot after the decimal. So three tenths would go there. So to write it as a decimal, you can't just write a three because then it looks just like the number three. You have to put the decimal first to show that it's three tenths. So let's look at number two. Notice our denominator now is 100. So now it's asking us 58 out of 100. And this model does match that better because there are 100 small squares in this model. So if we want to color 58 hundredths, we have to color 58 of those small squares. So I could just color one strip and I would know that would be 10. So another would be 20. And another would be 30. And another would be 40. And another would be 50. But I can't really color a whole nother column because then that would be 60 and I only need 58. So now I'm going to start coloring the eight extra small cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now I have colored the fraction 58 hundredths. But 58 hundredths is not just a fraction, it's also a decimal because it's less than one whole. So if we look at 58 one hundredths, we can write it as a decimal, but we're not just going to write 58 because then it would mean 58. That's a lot. This 58 hundredths is a tiny bit. It's less than one. So I'm going to put my decimal there. And what I'll see is I have a five in the tenths place. But if I start counting my longs, Notice I do, I have five of them, five columns. And then I have eight hundredths. And the hundredths are always these small cubes, and I have eight more of those. So up here in the place value chart, I have five tenths, or five full columns, and eight extra little pieces. And my decimal would go there. So you try the other one by yourself, and if you're still a little confused, you can always rewatch this video. Good luck.